you'll want to see this. The review of our 2109S Rockwood Mini Light. Well, hi there, it's uh, Christy and Corey, and we're here today to review our 2018 2109S Rockwood Mini Light. I'm going to go ahead and let Corey show you around the outside. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start here in the front of the camper with the propane tanks. The camper comes with two 30 pound propane tanks. It's got a cover that goes around them, but it has this little lid here that you open up. You can turn them on and off, and it's got a regulator down here that you can uh, switch the tanks back and forth. One of the best features of the camper, the electric jack. No more cranking. I love it. It's great. They also give you a little light in the front there. Oh yeah, it's got a little light. I forgot about that. So, here is our 12 volt battery. It runs, you know, things inside that are 12 volt. And one of the, another nice feature about the camper is the windshield. Um, when you're inside, you can see out front. I mean, it's, it's really big, and uh, we really like that. On around the corner here, hook up for your solar. You got solar panels. Compartment. Uh, it's a, uh, what do they call that? It's, it's a, a pass-through. Pass-through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You'll see it on the other side. Yep. Of course, you got your jacks your stabilizer jacks they're on each each corner four corners and how do you uh, put them up and down again and i also use a quarter inch drive uh electric ratchet with a three quarter inch socket camper comes with frameless windows all the way around really like that you can leave them open when it rains and it doesn't get wet inside it's got a nice clean look to it too yeah. And all, and all the windows are tinted. This area here is for the grill, which we don't use and never have. It's up in the attic at home. <laughs> um, we use a Blackstone. So, and we use, but we do use this to, for like a food prep area. We like that. And here is our gas line that we plug into our Blackstone. Plugs right in, got an adapter. So that makes it real nice. Here's a spot for the TV. You can bring it in, bring it out from inside, and it slides right down over it. And of course, you got your cable outlet, and you got your two 110 outlets. Now here we got two outdoor speakers. I like those, they, they sound pretty good. Okay, and the, the tires and wheels. Uh, they're aluminum wheels. Uh, the tires, uh, the tires are not the best quality of tire. Uh, they're the cheapest thing that Rockwood would, could put on them. So I would suggest, like we're going to do, we're going to change them out. They're a year old. We're going to change them out probably mid-summer and uh, put some good years, I think, on it. That's what I'm looking at. So uh, I would do that before they blow out. Okay, and the axles on, on the trailer is their uh, Dexter Torque Flex axles. They're guaranteed up for ten up to ten years. And what it does, it gives you a lot better ride than springs. And what we did also is we put carpet on our steps um, because you can slip and fall out the door and really hurt yourself. And our little dog finds it easier to get inside with those on it, too. Yeah, she literally won't go up the steps without them. <laughs> All right, around back here is our ladder that goes up to the walk-on roof. You can actually walk on the roof. And that's really a nice feature for cleaning, you know, anything like that. Your spare tire, of course, is on the bumper. And we also 
They also have a, uh, it's pre-wired for a Furion um, camera, backup camera. Hopefully we will get one of those someday. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. Um, comes with LED lights. Okay, for the fun part, the hose in here for your, to drain your uh, uh, tanks or is in here in the bumper. And of course, here's your your black and your gray. You hook your hose to that and dump your tanks. Here's a 30 amp plug in. It goes to your, you know, the power of the camper. Satellite cable hook up. This is your black tank for flush. Um, hook your hose to it, it flushes the black tank out. That's that's really nice. And it has an outdoor shower, which we've never used. Um, so, <laughs> man, that's not really exciting. <laughs> okay, here's another compartment. It's not real wide, but it's pretty long. You go from about from here about here so you can put your fishing pole or anything like that in there anything long this is your escape window exit uh, in case you have any issues you have to get out of the camper now here's your fresh water drain right here if you have to uh, you know, or when you empty your fresh water that's where you do it Your water heater, nothing real exciting. But important. But important. Cold showers are no fun. <laughs> As we have experienced. Yes, we have. <laughs> okay. This is the other side compartment, the, the pass-through compartment. We have some tubs in there that we put some of our levelers and um, our cords and you know hoses and things like that in there. Makes it nice to store. Okay, here's your antifreeze inlet. So you can add your antifreeze to the lines. This is your potable water fill with your hose. And your city water connector. So, I'm trying to think anything else that they might want to know or see or well we'll show them the um awning and then i think that's about it for the outside okay sounds good chris is going to go put the awning out as so you guys can see that it is uh 14 feet across it's it's big as you can see it's a power awning Chris is gonna take us inside and show us around. Come on in. Okay, we're gonna to start to the left of the door and move around the camper, go around the camper. <laughs> so first of all, there's um, some really nice cabinet space in here, storage. We use it mostly for our pantry, um, some, you know, garbage bags, tablecloths, things like that, miscellaneous stuff down there. And there's also this bottom, this bottom storage cabinet here. And we use all that for a lot of our outdoor fire stuff and that kind of stuff. It also has a bar to hang clothes. And then you can remove these shelves if you want to but we don't really hang clothes up, so <laughs> we don't have a big use for that. So yeah, that's the storage there. And then we come to the refrigerator. It's just your typical Dometic uh, refrigerator. This is the freezer compartment. 
and then you have the refrigerator. Oops. And as you can see, it's got, you know, multiple racks, a couple of drawers here, and plenty of storage space in the door. It also runs on gas or electric. Yep. Okay, so next we're going to show you the bathroom. And inside the bathroom, it's kind of tight, like most RVs are. But um, you've got your toilet here. It's a Dometic also. And then you've got your linen closet. Three shelves, plenty of room, at least for us there is. <laughs> so you've got that. And then here we have the shower. It works nice. Your typical shower with the skylight. And then we also have a very nice fan here in the bathroom. And the fan works well to pull the air through the camper to cool it down. Um, you don't need to run the air conditioner as much when it's not quite so hot. And then over here on the other side of the shower is your uh, medicine cabinet. We've got plenty of room for what we need. Your sink. It's got a soap holder and your toothbrush holder. And there's an outlet just to the right of the sink. There's a little drawer here, a little pull-out drawer right in the front. And then we have this storage space underneath the sink. Okay, so then once you come out of the bathroom, over here is your air conditioner and furnace controls. And then we have an outlet over here, which is nice. And then you have the couch with a cup holder on each side. The couch also folds out to make a bed. And then up above the couch, we have three doors with storage. And it's all one piece, it's all connected inside. So then behind the couch is where you store the table that you can use out in front of your couch. We've never used the table. <laughs> uh, we've been thinking about replacing it with some TV trays. But it is a nice table, and you could even use it outside. We thought about doing that. Uh, if we don't use it this season, I think we're going to um, just take it out. And then, as Corey showed you earlier, there's access from the outside in, in, in here. Behind the couch. So you can store things that you might use outside also. And then, while we're here... Uh, the window opens Windows open like that and this is your also your emergency exit right behind the couch so then going on around the keeper we have well you've got your other window here you've got a curtain here on this side and a curtain on this side that come together to separate the bed from the living space. We've never used it because it's just the two of us, so no need for it. All right, so to the left of the bed, there's um, a countertop, a bedside table for, for this side of the bed, and also two US, USB ports and a 12 volt, and then also um, a set of outlets over here. And then you have your wardrobe. It also has a bar in the top to hang clothes if you like. Again, we don't hang a lot of clothes when we're camping. <laughs> okay, and then here we have the queen size bed. The mattress is heated. And then above the, uh, the mattress, above the bed area, are two storage compartments up here. Actually, two doors and one big space which is nice. We fill it when we're camping. Then over to the right side of the bed, you have another wardrobe. Same, same thing. It's got a place to hang clothes. It's really deep. And then you have a bedside table here. There is an outlet right here for this side. 
It's hard to see. It's down by the mattress, but there is one on this side. And then this side has the drawer instead of the USB ports and the 12 volt. Okay, and then underneath the mattress, there is storage. Quite a bit of storage, actually. And then down below that storage, there are three drawers. And as you can see, there's lots of room inside those drawers, too. We have a ton of storage in this camper for the two of us. And honestly, we, we uh, haven't filled it all up yet, so. <laughs> okay, so then over here is our TV. And I'm going to step back and let Corey tell you a little bit more about this section since he knows more about it. <laughs> okay, the TV is a 24-inch Furion. And the stereo is a IRV Technologies, um, AM and FM, uh, CD player, Bluetooth, DVD player, all built into one. And it, you can play it th through the speakers outside or inside or all of them at the same time. Okay, well thanks Corey for helping me with that. Alright, so over here at the countertop there is an extra counter space here that you can pull up. It just folds down next to the counter area. And then we put our trash can right next to the counter. It fits perfectly there. So then coming around here, um, as you can see, this is the kitchen area, countertop, and we'll, we'll go ahead and show you these two drawers. It's got two drawers here for your silverware, your utensils, things like that. Oh, it's a mess, honey. <laughs> And then this is like our catch-all drawer, but it's the same size. And we've just got numerous stuff, things in there. Gadget stuff. Yeah. Now this space is for the furnace down here. So then coming up here, you've got a three burner um, cooktop. And this just folds back and protects your blinds and your windows, the glass does. And like it says, three burner gas. Uh, cooktop works well I've used it many many times and then there's also slots back here to put knives never used them but they're there and then down below the um, stove top is the oven it's nice to have that and then below the oven you've got a storage drawer it's where we keep most of our pots and pans is down here and then moving on over to this side of the countertop is your sink. And it comes with a cover over it. Um, it's handy because uh, I typically leave this in most of the time. It gives us more counter space. But then you can remove that. And it's a uh, two-sided sink. Put the lid back on. And then below the sink are well first of all there's this small drawer here you can keep you know kitchen things that's where i put our dish soap at and then we've got two large deep drawers and i put just odds and ends foils plastic bags you name it and then this one's got bowls and things like that in it. so then above the sink area we have two big storage places here and that's where I typically use or put cups and plates um, oils you name it um, food food things food prep stuff but that all goes up there I think I forgot to tell you about the fan above the stove there's a light and a fan above the stove fan works very well especially when you're cooking in here and it's uh, winter time and it really warms up the place, so um, you might need the fan to cool it off. Summertime too, but we tend to cook outside in summer more. All right, so then here above the sink is the microwave. It's not huge, but it gets the job done. I mean, we've used it often, a lot. It comes in very handy when you don't feel like turning on the stove. 
All right, so then there's a fire extinguisher over here on this side as you come in the door. You've got another outlet here, and then your control panel is on this side. Um, it may be kind of hard to show you because of the light in here, but all your controls here for your tanks, your awnings, your slides, it's all here. Okay. And something that we purchased for the camper that has come in very handy, and actually friends of ours um, told us about it, and they've got one for their camper, it has worked out great, is this footstool. It has storage on the inside. And I like that it's double wide, because we both can use it, sitting on, in the, on the couch. And then also, since we have such a little dog, She's a little four and a half pound chihuahua, if you haven't seen any of our other videos. We put it in front of the bed and it gives her a little ramp to jump up on the bed. So she's able to move around in the camper. But yeah, this was a great buy. We, uh, we have really used that a lot. All right, so then here on the ceiling is the 13,500 BTU air conditioner. And it's ducted through the ceiling. It will run you out of here. <laughs> Um, it gets nice and cool in here. I love that. And as you can see, there is a ton of lighting on the ceiling. You've got light underneath the microwave over here. There, there is again a light underneath the hood. There are lights over here along the window. One on each side. It's good for reading or just a little bit of light at nighttime. Um, so yeah, that's the inside of our camper. Something that we really like about this camper also is that we can access everything when the slide is in. As you can see, the slide is in right now. And we still have lots of space between the couch and the kitchen area. Everything is still accessible. We can both still get to the bed. And another nice thing is you can still use the bathroom. The door opens, no trouble. And we can still access the refrigerator. So that was another selling point of this because in the future, we plan on doing more traveling where we're maybe um, staying overnight in a Walmart or, you know, uh, Camping World or Cabela's, someplace like that. Now that you've seen the outside and the inside of the camper, we just wanted to give you a few reasons why we chose this one. Uh, one of the reasons was uh, the weight. It weighs... 4,251 pounds dry. And it um, works perfectly for our half-ton Chevy pickup truck. It pulls it with no trouble at all. Right. And also the um, size of the tanks were another big reason. Yeah, 43 gallon uh, fresh water and 30 gallons each uh, gray and black. And also we really like the, um, we like that the camper was under 25 feet. We wanted to keep it smaller um, for towable reasons and, and just it, it fit us better. And uh, we like the open concept of this camper versus a separate bedroom because with the open concept, it gives us a bigger feel inside. And we love the front window. Yeah, the windshield's great. Yeah, it, it just, it's awesome to be able to look out the window and see what's around you because windows are a plus. Yes. Uh, we love the, how it feels inside. It's got a very homey feel. And um, I honestly have no complaints about the camper. It's perfect for us and our little tiny dog. Yeah. What about you, honey? What do you think? Only complaint I have is, is the speakers. Uh, you know, they're not, they're, they sound okay, but you know, I'd like to have bows or something. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and there's always going to be little things that you would want to upgrade. Like for us, we uh, plan on switching out the mattress probably eventually. Shower head. And the shower head, yeah. Those are two things that we can think of. Um, now the table that goes inside, we didn't, we didn't get that out, but there's a table that sits in front of the couch. We have never used the table, and we're thinking about swapping that out for a couple of uh, TV trays because yeah. we think we might use those more. Yeah. Um, but anyways, if you, if there's any questions you have or comments that you want to make, go ahead and do so, and we uh, will be glad to answer any. Do the best we can to answer. Yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, we'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, so that wraps up the review. If you liked this review, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe <laughs> and don't forget to hit that bell so that you don't miss our next video as always till next time we'll see you later Bye now.